Hey everybody, this is Henry, uh, shooting you another video about, uh, the previous, uh, videos were about drugs, uh, porn, and suicide, sickness, and the dark side, and today is, I mean, it's a little bit more about PTSD, OCD, ADD, I mean, when stuff happens to you in life, like I said, I had a rough childhood, and after the last relationship, when the girl shoved me really hard, she she pretty much broke me out of I'm kind of broken out of from what she did to me. And, you know, I've been experiencing a lot of, like, PTSD from it. Where, you know, it's... I'm, I just feel, like, really messed up on the inside. And I'm, like, broken out of the inside. And <clears throat> I'm also becoming, like, OCD with stuff. Or just if something doesn't go my way, if somebody crosses me or uh, says something wrong or it's, it's part of PTSD or somebody crosses me or says something wrong or let's say I'm taking the filet off for clothes or something and it falls and I can't find it. It's like, it's like I feel like I'm broken on the inside because I really want to like throw it out. It's kind of weird, but like... Uh, it's, it's just pretty much just drains me. It's like I get drained a lot. Well, like it's pretty much like depression. Uh, like you don't want to get out of bed. Like it's the end of the world. Like what are you gonna do? You know, like you're thinking all the bad stuff they used to, used to do. That's that you don't want to go back to. And it's just like what are you gonna do in life? And it's just like you you know I can't get my head straight sometimes, or I can't think right, or I forget stuff, or I get confused. So. Uh, it's just some of the stuff that like really happens that, that I'm going through also. Uh, and it's it's kind of like hard to get over. I mean, just, you know, sometimes like we'll probably like overcome it. But a lot of it is just like having a, you know, like, like I'm using drive to do stuff in life. Like uh, if I'm starting a business or starting something outside of work. I mean, starting, starting something, like, besides, like, working, but, like, try to work from home, I get discouraged, like, like, there's something missing, like, there's something uh, missing inside of me, uh, and it's, you know, it's sometimes hard to collect your thoughts together, and it's just, like, you now I'm having these kind of problems also, uh, and, you know, it's, it's kind of hard sometimes, trying to work but then you get discouraged i mean i get discouraged a lot on stuff or discouragement hits hits me a lot and i'm trying it's like making phone calls talking to people and it's just like you get discouraged by something like i get drained a lot like like i lose a lot of energy and i get so weak tired sleepy and depressed i get drained like really quick a lot uh, and I don't feel like getting out of bed and it's just like I lose my drive and I get drained to the point where I just don't want to do it anymore or pursue it it's just like I think about it but it's just like drains me to like nothing completely drains me it's just it's just some even little things drain me where I can't do nothing in life I mean just where I can't really do nothing like as far as have the drive like I like I'm losing the drive I don't have the drive and you know and pursuing it so and it's it's hard sometimes. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like broken on and said I feel broken on and said also, and just you know moving forward. Sometimes it's like hard. It's just like you're you get depressed sometimes. It's just like you don't know how to get out of it. Uh, but a lot of it would also be good if you know if you talk about it. That's why I'm talking about it because. A lot of stuff I just want to get out of me, uh, put it out there, just to free myself, because that's what it does. You know, people should, you know, talk some, talk somebody or make a video or whatever. Just get it out of you, get it out there, get the pain, everything out of you. You know, help you move forward in life. But it's, you know, it, it does take work in life to move forward, uh, to pursue any other stuff in life. So. I mean, you might be looking back at it later and it's just, it might seem like nothing. It's just the, some crazy stuff that you probably went through in your life. Uh, whatever sickness you got in you, just get it out of you. You don't want, you don't want anything that's like dark to fester in you. Like, don't have secrets. Uh, 
you don't want anything bad to fester in you to hold you back because I'm, I, I mean, I don't need any of that stuff holding me back anymore, like what I was going through, because I was never able to talk about it. And just one thing I'd up on top of another, another, another. And it's just like, you don't want to be going backwards, because I was going backwards the whole time in my life. And then just recently, after the relationship, last couple of years, it was just like hard for me to move forward or just like collect my thoughts and get myself together. Uh, and it was hard just getting out of bed sometimes and then just be having anxiety like panicking sometimes and I, I mean i was really really broken on the inside i mean as broken as i mean i was broken on the inside so uh i'm you know i'm i would be more on the sensitive side i'm really sensitive so some people are like you know harder they got their stuff together but I'm more on a sense. I'm a, more on a sensitive stuff. I'm, I'm on, on the side, so, uh, and I mean, stuff that you probably would need to work on because I got to work on some stuff also. And it's like trying to move forward. Sometimes it's hard, uh, just because I lose the drive, and you know, just lose the drive, and it's just like gouging from one thing to another. But, you know, put stuff out there, get everything out of you, because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get everything out of me. Anything bad, secrets, darkness, because you don't want any of the stuff festering in you to hold you back. Uh, to Because you don't want to become sicker, because I don't want to become sicker. I mean, I don't really want that stuff that goes on, but it goes on. So it's just like, sometimes it's good to talk about it. That's why you guys should talk about it, just so I can get it out of me. And you hurt pain, get it out of you, because that's what I'm doing. And then just move on with your life. Nobody's really going to care at the end, you know, just go somewhere in life instead of, you know, don't be, don't be stuck in stuff that you don't want to be. Because I was, I mean, honestly, I was stuck for like 15 years, what was going on in my childhood. And then like, you know, I got a lot of stuff happened in my childhood and then I remembered what I did. So just, you know, I was kind of, sometimes I get like scared talking about it. Because uh, I was stuck on the stuff that happened in my childhood, but then then I forgot what I was doing, what, what I did, and then I remembered. So I was just like, this is not right, you know? And then recently, a couple years ago, did some other stupid stuff, which, you know, I'm not too freaking proud of. I mean, sometimes I'm scared to talk about stuff like that. Uh, and now I get scared about it. And, you know, but some just talking about it, and you say, but it's. People would be better off if they talk about it, just get out of them and, you know, just don't go back into the same thing that happened when you were doing. Because, you know, some people are going to need help, but it's just like, you know, I'm just like losing a drive sometimes too. So, I mean, just having a drive is, or losing a drive or being motivated or something else in life, what you want to do instead of, you know, because I get drained a lot of over every single little thing that happens. I get drained. Like, I used to be like superstitious sometimes too. So it's just like, if something's, I'm like OCD, something's got to be this way, but then she used to, she always, the last girl used to like press down on me, push me really hard, and it's how she used to, like, she gave me, like, we went to the restaurant, she just shoved a fork in my mouth, like, hit my teeth, and then she, like, shoved me really hard, and, like, she slammed me really hard also, which kind of broke me, yeah, pretty much I'm broken on the inside also, uh, so it's just like, it's just like you feel like I'm always trying to put, like, I don't know, if I put something down, sometimes I just got to, like, put it down. Like, it's it's it's, it's kind of weird, but, yeah, kind of broken on, I'm broken on the inside. She broke me really good. And everything else just didn't, everything else in my life just didn't make it any better. It just probably just made it worse. And it's just like, uh, life, you know. Some people have an easy life, but some people have to work for it. And, you know, sometimes you have to get out of the mess that you're in and get out of the stuff, whatever's going on inside of you. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm getting everything out of me, hurt, pain, anything that happened to me, everything that I did, and everything that happened to me also. So it's just like, don't do nothing stupid. Become a better person on the inside. But sometimes you got to fix yourself on the inside. Sometimes I feel like it's hopeless. I can't. Sometimes I feel like I can't fix myself on the inside. Like there's an empty void inside of me. And there's like stuff festering in me sometimes. And it's 
it's hard sometimes so uh, i hope you guys get a you know something out of this a lot out of this video also uh you know to start doing something else in your life talk about it get it out of you because that's what i'm doing also and then just move forward in your life you know just find the drive find the motivation because i lose my drive and motivation but it's kind of hard sometimes and you know move on with your life so have a great day guys